find the stability of a system using the Ruth Hurwitz criteria. So let's see the problem. So this is our problem and it is given to us that with the help of Ruth Hurwitz criteria, we have to determine the stability of the system which is having the following characteristic equation. So this is the characteristic equation of the system. Let's solve this problem. So if you see this characteristic equation, you will see that we are having all the coefficients are present. None of the coefficient is missing or absence from this absent from this characteristic equation. So let us first determine the root array of using this characteristic equation. First, we are having S6, then S5, S4, S3 s2 s1 and s to the power 0 s6 is what coefficient of s6 is 1 we will have coefficient of all the even power of s so 1 8 then 20 then coefficient is 10 s5 write the coefficient of all the odd powers of s odd powers coefficient is 1 then 6 then 8 and here we are having no coefficient so we will write 0 to complete the array. Now finding this s to the power 4 what it will be 1 into 8 minus 1 into 6 divided by 1. So 1 into 8 it will be 8 minus 1 into 6 it will be 6 divided by 1. So it will be 2. Now we have Next coefficient will be 1 into 20 minus 1 into 8 that is 20 minus 8 divided by 1. So it will be 12. Now next coefficient will be 1 into 10 minus 1 into 0 upon 1. So it will be 10 minus 0 upon 1 so it will be 10. Next coefficient it will be 0. So we are having this row as 2, 12 and 10. Now S3 its coefficients will be this 2 into 6 minus 1 into 12. So 2 6 are 12 minus 12 so it will be 0. Then we have 2 into 8 2 8 16 minus 10 16 minus 10 is 6 divided by 2. So we are having this coefficient as 3. Then 2 into 0 minus 1 into 0, so it will be 0 here also 0. So if you notice this row, S3 row, you will see that we have obtained uh, the first element of this row as 0. And uh, there is at least one element which is non-zero in this row. So we will apply the methods which we have studied in the Ruth Herbert's criteria that whenever we, we obtain such type of situations when the first element of the row is zero and this row is having at least one non-zero element then what you have to do you have to replace this s with one by z and you have to uh, obtain the polynomial fz that is the polynomial which is in terms of z so replace s by one by z replace s by 1 by z and get new characteristic equation.
so we will put here we were having s to the power 6 plus 5 plus 8 is 4 plus 6 is cube then 20 is square plus 8 is plus 10 equals to 0 putting here is in place of s right 1 by z so it will be 1 upon z6 plus 1 upon z5 plus 8 into 1 upon z4 okay so we have obtained this characteristic equation now taking the lcm we will obtain 10 here this 10 the lcm will be z to the power 6 so if we have here we will have z to the power 6 and it will be 1 plus z plus 8 z square plus 6 z cube plus 20 z to the power 4 plus 8 z cube plus 10 z 6 equals to 0 this z 6 will goes to the right hand side it will become 0 so we will have the new characteristic equation as 10 z 6 plus 8 z 3 plus 20 z 4 So this is our new characteristic equation. We have obtained this new characteristic equation by putting S equals to 1 by Z. Now we have to repeat the same procedure. We will obtain the root array and then we will determine the stability of the system. So let's find out the root array for it. We are having Z6, Z5, Z4, Z3, Z2, Z1 and Z0. The coefficient of Z6 is 10. Here we are having 10. Then we will write the coefficient of Z4, 20. Then Z square it is 8 and then we have 1. Then coefficient of Z5 it is 8. Here we were having z5. Okay. So coefficient of z5 is 8. Then we have 6, then 1, and then 0. Co obtain coefficient of z4 as 8 into 20 minus 10 into 6 divided by 8. So it will be 8 to 160. minus 60 divided by 8 so it will be 100 by 8 or 12.5 this is what 8 8 8 into 8 minus 10 and divide by 8 so when you solve this you will get 54 by 8 that is 6.75 now 8 into 1 minus 10 into 0 upon 8 so it will be 1 then this coefficient will be 0. Similarly, if you obtain other coefficients, it will be 1.68, it is 0 0.36, 0, 0. This will be this into this minus 12.5 into 0 0.36 divided by 1.6. So it will be 4.07. Here we are having 1, 0, 0. Z1, what will be Z1? 4.07 multiplied with 0 0.36 minus 1.68 multiplied by 1 and divide by 4.07 so we are having minus 0 0.05 here this will be 0 this is 0 this is 0 next we have this multiplied by 1 minus this multiplied by this and divided by minus 0 0.05 so we will have 1 here it will be 0 0 0 so we have obtained the all the variables of this root array now 
we are uh, let's see that whether there is any sign change in the first column of this root array this is positive positive it is also positive 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 negative and positive so there is sign change here positive to negative so this is the first sign change now negative to positive so it will be our second sign change so there are two sign changes in the first column of this root array so two sign changes it means that there are two roots which are lying in the right hand side of the s plane so two root sign changes it means two roots lying in the right hand of s plane right hand side means they are having positive real part so they are lying on the right hand side that is this side of the s plane this is imaginary axis this is real axis and if the roots lie on the right hand side then that system is unstable so this system is unstable system because it is having two roots on the right hand side so in this problem we have obtained or we have applied the method that whenever you obtained a row in the root array which is having its first element as zero and also this row is having at least one element as non zero then what you have to do you have to put s equals to 1 by z and then you have to obtain the new characteristic equation apply the root array obtain root array uh, as uh, you obtain it and then solve the question for z sz okay that polynomial so i hope this problem is clear to you